report into the conditions at the nation's prisons was completed last November. And this morning, the Justice Minister gave assurance that the major issues are being addressed. Marie Hull tells us more. A status update has been presented on matters listed in the report of the Special Prisons Committee. On Monday, a technical team established by Prime Minister Kamala Pasad Bissessa held a private meeting at the office of the Prime Minister in Sinclair to discuss pressing issues affecting the nation's prisons. Speaking to the media after the meeting, Justice Minister Emmanuel George detailed some areas that were affecting both prison inmates and prison officers, but have now been improved. Matters such as bulletproof vests for prison officers, the installation of beds and toilets for prisoners, are just some items listed as top priority. Installation of the, of the beds up at the, the, the prisons, the Roman prison, the 300 beds are currently being installed. And um, that project is ongoing apace at, the, at the, uh, the prisons. Also being installed at the prison is a uh, toilets. All of those are going in. And in addition to the, to the installation of the toilets, there is also a refurbishment of the, of the areas there where um, tiling and so on is being Put in place so that the minister says overcrowding in prison and systems to restrict the use of cellular phones have also been addressed. The overcrowding of the remand prison has been addressed um, somewhat uh, by over 200 prisoners being removed from the remand and now being housed at the, the MSP. Uh, so that has released some of the stress in the in the the new man prison and the commission. A contract for over 4,000 bulletin star proof vests has been awarded and will be delivered to prison officers in, in October 2014 at a cost of $7 million. Marie Hall, C